Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel again. I hold in my hands right here the new plans for our one story plan. We're going to turn the camera around, show you guys what we came up with. Uh, so don't touch that dial, guys. Perfect. met with the architect a couple weeks ago actually a couple months ago actually now I think about it and um, we um, we decided to go from a two-story to a one-story plan uh, so long-awaited plans have finally arrived we sat down we did a sketch session with him and uh, kind of decided what we want to do with the plan kind of re completely redesign the whole house and um, he finally got us our drafted plans here so we're out here at the property just kind of absorbing the space uh, enjoying this this good old country air and uh, sitting here looking over the plans. Before we get into it though, please do me a favor, tap that like button for me guys. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, okay? Let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is our plan. So this is, uh, this is on a one eighth scale. And um, as I said, this is a one story plan. You can see here, um, right here, that is the front porch and the entrance. And um, so we'll just kind of, I'll just kind of walk you through the plan here, uh, kind of as you would, as you would, if you're kind of like virtually walking through the plan. So, so here, here is the front entrance here. So right here, right out of the gates, when you come in the front entrance, there's a long hallway uh, that greets you right as you come in through the front door here. Uh, so if you'll notice this door here, that's, uh, that's what my wife really likes. It's a, it's a pivot door. So it's like a single, single door on a pivot, kind of neat, kind of trendy. It's a design that she's seen a lot and she kind of, kind of enjoyed that. We were, we were kind of going back and forth between doing a double door and a pivot door, but you know, she likes the pivot door. So, uh, looks like we're probably going to go with a pivot door, but anyways, uh, so when you come in off the front entrance, of course, you'll go right into what is the living room slash family room. You can see we've got couches and stuff lined up, little furniture, there's a fireplace there. Um, so let me take you over here to the, what we call our master wing. So we wanted a plan, and this is a, what's known as an H plan, because it's literally designed like an H. You can see the, the middle piece and then the left and right piece here. So we wanted a, a plan that gave us total privacy from the rest of the house and the kids and everyone else, right? So um, so over here, this is our section of the house. So when you, as I said, when you come down this hallway here, uh, right here, this is, a, this is my wife's study. Here, this is a workout room right here, uh, exercise workout room. And um, let's see, going this way here, this is, this is a media room right here. That's kind of like my little special place because I, I enjoy watching movies and I, I, I binge a lot on Netflix and whatnot. So this is perfect for me to just kind of chill out without being bothered. You go down this hall here, and uh, you've got the second study, which is my study. And uh, and then if you hook this left down this hall, this takes you into the master bedroom. So this is our master bedroom. Uh, you can see here, we've got, um, let that focus. We've got a fireplace. We've got double doors off this patio here to a covered porch. And then you come back down this way, and then it takes you into the master bathroom. Uh, so we wanted we wanted his and hers toilet. So there, there's my toilet. That's her toilet. This is her closet here. That's my closet right there. And then this is our our huge walk-in shower. So this this shower uh, from end to end, I believe this shower is I think 12 feet if I'm not mistaken. It's like 11 or 12 feet. Um, and then of course you got his and her sinks. And then here's our tub area. This will be a freestanding tub, uh, kind of a garden style tub. Okay, so then move, moving out of the master wing area, if you go back, you, you go out of the room and you go down this hall here, takes you over here to the family room again. And then over here, you've got our kitchen. So this is one of our favorite parts of the house. And, you know, b besides the master wing, master wing, this is our favorite part of the house. So you've got double islands here. This is an island that has a sink on it with seating on one side. And then we've got a double seating area here on island. 
Uh, here's a pop-out area, pop-out sitting area, kind of a bar countertop area here looking out on the patio. Uh, you got, of course, your stove, your fridge, and then this is our, what we call a working pantry. So it'll double as a pantry as well as kind of like a mini prep kitchen as well. And you can see there's, uh, there's access points uh, to this hallway here and then also access point out to the patio. So um, if you if you step out of the kitchen and you come down this hallway here, this is where the guests will stay. So we got two bedrooms. This is a handicap accessible bedroom. And then this is just a regular bedroom. So all, all the doors and whatnot will be 36 inches wide. So someone with a wheelchair uh, can, can access the room easily. Same thing with the bathroom. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom. Uh, but this side of the bathroom is, um, is it not focusing? Okay. Yeah, th this side of the bathroom is handicap accessible as well as this door, the toilet, and the shower, okay? And then there's a little walk-in closet. You know, not much to see there, just kind of a basic run-the-mill bedroom, right? And then if you walk out of the bedrooms, you go down this, this long hallway, you see a two-car garage there. Then you see here, this is our, our utility room. Um, we got a, got a dog wash here. We got a mud area here, which connects to a second garage. So it's a four car garage in total. Um, going down this hallway here. Now you're headed towards the kids uh, section of the house. So we wanted to make sure the kids were opposite of us on the opposite side of the house. So they have their own little flex area, kind of like a game room, playroom area, which connects both their bedrooms. It's our son's bedroom here. It's our daughter's bedroom there. And of course there's his bathroom, his, his closet, her bathroom, her closet. Uh, so they've got their own space to themselves uh, where they don't have to bother us. They got everything they need over there and they've got access to the kitchen fairly easy, right? Uh, now you'll notice this is a one story, but you'll notice there is a stairwell here. This stairwell actually goes up to the space above the garages, which actually will be just kind of attic space. It'll be unfinished attic space that we'll use uh, probably a storage or what have you. And maybe at some point we may even... Um, we may even turn it into like a game room or, or a workout room or something. We'll, we'll figure out something, right? Um, and then under the stairwell, you've got a powder bath as well right here for people. If they're out on the patio and they want they need to use the restroom, they can go right there through that door to the, to the, the powder bath. And then speaking of the, the patio, we've got an outdoor kitchen. There's a grill there. There's a sink there. We'll probably have, you know, a deep fryer or something like that. Uh, and then all of this right here is covered under the patio. So, um, so yeah, so that is just a kind of a quick, a quick and dirty on, uh, the plan. So you've seen the plan. Um, now one of the things that we didn't count on, and I think this has happened to us once already was, um, when we originally sat down with the architect to do this design and he sketched it out on paper, he told us originally that he felt like he could keep this thing under 5,000 square feet, which that's what we told him that was kind of our goal was to keep it, you know, around 5,000 square feet. He felt pretty confident he could do it. Um, when he got back to us with the final drawings, this plan, <laughs> it grew to 6,200 square feet. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So you see here, this is the breakdown of the square footage. So there you have it. There's the first floor, 6,192 second floor is 24 and technically that's not even really a true second floor that's just the area where that um that stairwell is going up to the that second floor and then you've got front porch rear porch you've got the garages uh you got the master master ports on the back side and then you got that future space above the garage and then the total slab is square footage is 84.97 total frame is 96.91 so obviously you can see that's much larger than the 5,000 square feet that we told him to stick you know, keep this to so right out of the gates we got to figure out how can we make this thing smaller right so we we kind of came up with some suggestions and some things that we're going to consider uh i mean the square footage has got to come out of the house somewhere right so we got to sacrifice something uh you know sacrifice as much as we're comfortable sacrificing without completely just disrupting the flow of the plan and changing it entirely right so uh, so here's, here's what we came up with so essentially what we decided to do was uh, we're going to take about a 10 foot section 
out of the middle of the house, right? And that includes this double, these double islands. We're gonna get rid of one of the islands and we're gonna carve out a 10 foot section of the house in the middle. We're also gonna take about two feet out of the media room in this whole section of the house from front to back. Uh, we'll carve out about two, two feet from the master, about two feet from my study. Um, and then over here where the guest bedrooms are, we'll carve out a little bit of space, probably about two feet from this larger bedroom. We'll probably eliminate this walk-in closet. Um, and then back here in the kids' rooms, we'll, we'll slice and dice sections of the house, uh, two, to, two to three foot sections of the house. Another thing, this, this flex room is huge. It's ginormous. That one will have to come down. Right now it is, it's 19 by 21. So, um, so we're going to, we're going to take that thing and chop it down, make it smaller. Um, and based on our calculations, we figure we could probably, we could probably take off about 800 square foot, uh, from this house, which, which would get us closer to, to the five, um, the 5,000 square feet, not quite 5,000, but it'll be probably about 5,300 square feet. So, um, which is a lot better than where we are now. It's roughly, roughly almost a thousand square feet less. So that's the plan um, is to try to squeeze down the square footage. You know, we got to meet with the architect again, go over the plan, give him our suggestions, talk about the things we want to change. And then, you know, back to the drawing board again, guys. So um, we got, that's all we got for today, guys. Short video. Uh, my wife, she was being shy today. She didn't want to get on camera. She said she's not camera ready. So uh, I didn't want to put her on, but it, but she's here. She's floating around in the background somewhere. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Just a quick video. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about our plans to, to, to kind of squeeze this square footage down. And, um, you know, when she's ready to get on camera, we'll shoot some video of that so you guys can kind of, you know, kind of share that experience with us. But uh, in the meantime, guys, thanks for your time. Um, like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, um, if you would, please, uh, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button for us. And if you, and again, share this video with a friend and tell a friend about our channel. Okay. We'll see you next time. Take care. Perfect.